everyone. My name is Monica Anguparu. I work with Kent National in Uganda. I am the initiative manager for Partners for Resilience program in Uganda. Um, in the Partners for Resilience program, one of our initiatives for enhancing community resilience was uh, Village Saving and Loan Association methodology. Uh, in this uh, methodology, um, communities are sensitized on uh, uh, on uh, how they can uh, save and how they can uh, loan and how they can make more money to improve on their livelihoods and particularly uh, where they can save these monies to meet their needs during uh, stresses and uh, hazards. And so communities in Otuke bought the idea of Village Saving and Loan Association and they started saving. They started saving with as little as uh, less than a dollar a week uh, in 2012. And by the time PFR1 was ending in 2015, communities were saving up to about uh, 20,000 Uganda shillings a week. And, uh, and they have sustained this uh, saving culture beyond PFR1. Uh, a, st a rapid study in 2018 indicated that uh, the village saving and loan association groups now save up to about uh, $15 a month, which is great. And the majority of these are actually about 65% of these are women, which is a plus to the to including women in financial services at a local level. Uh, the initiative of VSLA is a self-sustaining initiative. Beyond PFR1, communities have continued to do this by themselves. They have, con have continued to save and they have continued to be strong groups. And uh, government has seen them as a good avenue for the other programs of government. Government has called on them. Government has identified a couple of VSLA and uh, VSLA groups to work with. And one fascinating thing with the VSL groups is that um, uh, from sensitizations of PFR about ecosystem management and restoration, they have picked on the idea of uh, producing lotion, Vaseline, soap from shea nut tree. And the shea nut tree is a wild tree grown in the wilderness, and they pick fruits from this tree and make oil. Traditionally, the oil was used for food, but now with the PFR, they are using the seeds from the shea nut to produce lotion, Vaseline, soap, and sell locally, and even now sell internationally. I can show you one product of the VSLA. This is what the VSLA groups produce and sell. Uh, we have brought this to our colleagues in the PFR who are currently in a reflection workshop in Addis and they are, they are, they've appreciated this and we've received so many orders uh, from colleagues that they would want to use this shea nut oil and uh, we are continuing to market them. So this is uh, in one way increasing livelihoods of the communities of the VSLA groups to save more and be able to meet more of their needs. But two, it's also, uh, it's also responding to ecosystem management and restoration. Because from this, they are able to say to the other communities that uh, we can benefit more from the shea nut oil production instead of cutting it for fuel, wood, or charcoal. And so by doing that, they are reaching out to many more communities, advocating to them to restore and manage shea nut trees in their gardens instead of cutting them. And they are using them to collect the seeds from the gardens and sell to them so that they also can get income. So it's, pro it's scaling up income options for the VSLA, but also for the other communities outside the VSLA groups. And uh, at the same time, this uh, VSLA saving and loan association groups are saving, producing the shea nut oil, but they are also now uh, advocating to government that they need to protect the shea nut trees. They can do more with the value addition to the shea nut oil than cutting it for charcoal, which will be a one-off uh, income 
and the government is doing is buying in government is now even marketing these VSL groups and particularly with their share nut butter oil to other communities as an example as a model to reckon on to pick on and scaling this activity to many more communities in the district great can you tell me one more thing about um, uh, how they are now advocating in PFR2 for, so they're like the, uh, the exact district and the, um, um, uh, also yeah that they're invited now to the national government and it's is it only about the Shearnut trees or also more broadly about other topics? Um, okay, for this particular VSL groups, it's about the Shearnut. Okay, are there other fee CLA groups? Uh, yeah. Yes, there are other groups. Yes, um, I can say? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, f using experience from PFR1, um, in PFR2, we, even when we are now doing advocacy and not doing work directly in the community, we have kept relations warm with the VSL groups that we have. All the 204, 204 VSL groups are still in contact with us uh, for advice, for guidance, so we provide this to them. And um, we also continue to link the VSL groups to government departments for support in any form that they can, and the government has continued to earmark them and selected them to benefit from their programs like Operation Wealth Creation, where they are giving communities uh, funds to increase on uh, businesses that they are doing, and they are giving, the three VSL groups have benefited from Haifa cows to produce milk and uh, enhance their nutrition and also to sell the milk for further income which they can again save and invest in other things. And the government, interestingly, is relying on these VSLA groups as a very cohesive uh, or groups, very organized, very harmonious and linking them to international events, national events. The VSLA groups Three, I can tell you three of them have been carried by government to national events, events like the National Agriculture Show, and they come to market their, their share nut product. They have carried them to national events, that the World Meteorological uh, Days, to create that linkage of keeping your ecosystems intact, which will modify the local climate, which is very, very uh, key in... Um, in a, in a res community resilience building. And, and, uh, and uh, in this year, government has informed this very one of the VSL groups that they will take them to Ghana for a trade fair. And in Uganda, we are told that there is also sheer nut production, and they are, have gone to a higher level where they are having massive production, marketing up to USA, and the government now wants the, the women group the, the Shia Nut Women Group in Otuke, the care site, to visit that group in Ghana so that they can grow, they can learn lessons and grow in their production and increase on their savings. And who knows, they can become a micro-finance institution locally in Otuke.